Move over paper towels and make way for Swedish dishcloths. Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Mess with Michelle. Today's video is all about Swedish dishcloths. I'm gonna show you exactly what these are, my full review, and just dive in a little bit more closely and see how exactly you can use these little small squares in your everyday cleaning routine. So if you wanna learn more, definitely stick around. Swedish dishcloths really set themselves apart from regular sponges because they're an eco-friendly option and they're made out of compostable and biodegradable materials. The cloths that I purchased are made of 70% wood pulp and 30% cotton. They're also super absorbent and machine washable and they function as a regular cellulose sponge and they can replace up to 25 paper towel rolls just using one dishcloth. The cloths that I purchased can last up to eight weeks or can be washed up to 200 times. And one thing about the cloth is that it's very colorful in design. So when you are looking for Swedish cloths, you will find that they're very aesthetically pleasing with a variety of different colors, patterns, and designs. So when it comes to cost savings, I will be saving money on using these over paper towels because the pack I received was a pack of 10 and it was just over $25. So that's about $2.50 per cloth. And if they last up to eight weeks, that's about 31 cents per day. The key to use using a Swedish dishcloth is getting it wet to be most effective and when it's dry it's like a little piece of cardboard it's not very pliable and it's very stiff but as soon as you run it underneath water it starts to really soften up and it also becomes very pliable and it was really great to see the transformation from being a little tiny stiff board to a nice soft cloth and the only way I can really describe it is comparable to a chamois that you'd use to dry off your car. You have to get it wet to make it more effective and to be super absorbent. So when you run it under the water you're just going to get it wet, get it soft and then you're going to really squeeze all the excess water out and then you can see that now it's more pliable and it's ready to be used. Swedish dishcloths are known to be super absorbent and can hold up to 20 times their weight in liquid. So I want to run through a few different tests using liquids with the dishcloth and then comparing it to a regular paper towel. So I have a damp dishcloth and I'm just pouring a quarter cup of water on the cloth and I'm going to lift it up to see if any of the water drips out or if it is fully absorbed. And based on a quarter cup of water, all the liquid has been absorbed by the cloth and no water has leaked out. I've wrung out the dishcloth and now I'm pouring a half a cup of water on the cloth to see if it's able to fully absorb a half a cup of water and I'm going to lift it up to see if any water leaks out and I did notice after a half a cup of water was poured onto the cloth that it was leaking out and I performed the exact same test compared to a paper towel and I poured a quarter cup of water onto the paper towel, let it absorb and then I'm going to lift it up to see if it was able to absorb a quarter cup and as soon as I lifted up that paper towel it started to leak out immediately so the paper towel was not able to perform the same as a dishcloth and the dishcloth definitely absorbed a lot more water but after running a few tests using the dishcloth um, anything beyond a half a cup I always found that the water leaked out so after performing the test quite a few times and just kind of making sure that my results were the same the quarter cup of water seemed to be the sweet spot of how much water the dishcloth can absorb so you can see here I've just zoomed in how much water was actually left over using the paper towel so I'm just gonna go in using my dishcloth and just pick up any excess water left over from the paper towel that it didn't absorb I wanted to run a couple more tests using the dishcloth with liquids versus a paper towel so I wanted to have a more real life setting if something were to spill on your countertop. So I'm gonna use milk and I'm going to pour a quarter cup of milk onto my countertop and I'm gonna first use my dishcloth to see if it will absorb and then followed by my paper towel. So I'm just taking my damp Swedish dishcloth and I'm just running it along the spill. And as I was running my cloth along the countertop on the spill, I was just moving in a slow motion, just allowing the liquid to really absorb into the cloth. And as I was reaching the end of the spill, I did feel the cloth was getting a bit oversaturated. So I just went to the sink, wrung out the cloth and just did another wipe down of the countertop a second time because I did notice a little bit of residuals left over from the milk. But after running the cloth over a second time on the counter, it fully picked up all the milk. I performed the same test with the paper towel and the paper towel did quite well. It did get a little bit more oversaturated and did push around the milk on the countertop a little bit more but nothing too crazy so I just rinsed out the paper towel and I just went a second time to wipe off any residuals and excess milk on the countertop so it was kind of neck and neck when it came to picking up this spill but the good thing is with the dishcloth I can reuse it later whereas paper towels I would have to throw them in the garbage because they're only one time use. 
My next test, I'm just gonna run through cleaning my dishes using the dishcloth and Swedish dishcloths can replace regular cellulose sponges. So you can use these with your regular soaps and your household cleaning products. So I'm just using my regular soap that I would normally use to clean my dishes with warm water. And I really liked the feel of the cloth. It was really nice and soft and it just was a good size. I felt like it was just a perfect size to clean dishes and it was lightweight. I thought maybe because it's super absorbent, it might get a little bit heavier being submerged in the water and trying to clean, but it was really light and really easy to use. So as I was cleaning my dishes, the cloth, as I mentioned, is great and it was really soft so it's perfect for any glassware or your dishes. I felt that it was nice and soft and it didn't really have any abrasiveness. However, that being said, if you are having a really bad baked on mess, this cloth is quite soft and it doesn't have any abrasiveness. So if you are really needing to scrub, I can only imagine that you may need to switch it out with a more abrasive scrubbing pad. But for the regular day-to-day -day cleaning of regular dishes, it did a really great job. My next test, I'm going to see how long it takes to dry the cloths and see if there's any difference between using my regular dish cloth that I would normally use. So if you've ever done your dishes and you have a dish cloth or a sponge and all of a sudden, a few days later after using it, you get that funky smell, it's because there is bacteria on your sponge. And usually when I get that smell, I know that I have to run it in the laundry. But when it comes to Swedish dish cloths are fast drying and doesn't allow bacteria to grow on them. So they're known to be more sanitary and hygienic. So I put out my dishcloths at 12.47 a.m. and I compared the drying time to my dishcloth that I normally use, which is on the left, which is my cotton dishcloth, to see the next morning if there's any difference in drying time. So I allowed them to sit overnight and then I'm gonna go back and check them in the morning to see what the drying time is. So I came back downstairs at 8.33 in the morning to check on the dishcloth to see if they were dry and both of the cloths were dry. I thought maybe the cotton cloth might have a bit of dampness but they're both dry and there was no signs of moisture on either. But one thing I know with my cotton cloths, if I use them on my dishes for multiple times over the course of a few days, it starts getting that really funky, stinky smell, like I mentioned earlier, and I know that I have to throw it into the laundry, but when it came to the Swedish dishcloth, I use this for about three to four days, and I'm just doing a sniff test here to see if there's any odors, and I could not smell anything on it. So I'm gonna use it for a few more days, but so far, no odors, so it, it is true to say that it doesn't smell over the course of a few days. So you can also use your dishcloths using them on different types of surfaces, such as stainless steel and glass. So I just went through a couple of tests using the cloth on my stainless steel as well as my back door uh, glass to clean it off. And I didn't use any chemicals, but you can if you want. I just used a damp cloth and I'm just wiping down my garbage can and just buffing out any fingerprints or any stains and just giving it a good wipe down. And I was happy with the overall result. And then I just use a different cloth and I just cleaned the stainless steel handles on my fridge and once again, the cloth did a great job and it was able to remove any fingerprints and really polish and buff out the stainless steel. I also use my dishcloth to clean the glass of my back door and you can use your regular household cleaning spray with the cloth but I just decided to use a damp cloth on my door and this is where the dogs look outside so there's a lot of little nose prints so just by using a damp cloth it did a pretty good job getting all those nose prints removed and I didn't notice too much streaking at first but when I went back a few hours later there was a little bit of streaking on the outside of the window but nothing too crazy where I couldn't see outside the door but overall the glass looked a lot better and a lot more clear and I'll show you a before and after in just a minute but in the meantime you can see me working away cleaning my window and Duke is there just watching me to see exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> So 
So after you're finished cleaning with your dishcloth, the great things about these cloths is you can reuse them and they're machine washable. So I just tossed in my cloths into my laundry machine. I also tossed in a few other cloths as well and I just ran it through a quick cycle using cold water and my cloths can be washed up to 200 times and they can withstand up to 60 degrees of temperature. So I just chose cold water just to be safe and this is the first time running it through the cycle. So I'll show you a little bit later the end result of after they were cleaned. But the most amazing part with these cloths is you can actually clean them in the dishwasher which I think is pretty clever to be able to have the use of the dishwasher as well as the laundry machine so you have an option of which one you want to clean your cloths in. So this is a shot of what the cloths look like coming out of the laundry machine and they look great. And here's a shot of the cloths out of the dishwasher. I was a little bit apprehensive washing them in the dishwasher because I wasn't too sure what to expect, but they came out really nice. I noticed on the yellow cloth, there was a little bit of dirt still on the dishcloth, but that could be my dishwasher or the way I placed it in the dishwasher. But overall, they both looked pretty good and they're both pretty clean. So I let my cloths air dry. I didn't put them in the dryer or use a heat cycle in my dishwasher and this is what they look like afterwards. They kind of curl up and kind of get into a funky shape when they're air dried but they are looking pretty good and can be reused once again. So once they've reached their lifespan you can just throw them into the compost and have them biodegradable rather than putting in the landfill. So my overall review is I really enjoyed using the Swedish dish cloths and I'm really glad I purchased them. They're sustainable, they're compostable, they're biodegradable, they're better for the earth and that's a reason enough alone to buy them. But I found that the cloth is very versatile. I can use it for my dishes, I can use it on my countertops, I can use it in so many different areas of my home and my everyday cleaning routine. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you weren't familiar with Swedish dishcloth, hopefully you are now. And if you did like this video, make sure to give it a like on your way out and I'll catch you in my next video when I upload next Sunday.